So guys, we've had loads of requests for this one, so we better do it. Does TENS actually work? Let's find out. Hey guys, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So when we do these does it actually work videos, I normally do a deep dive into the evidence to see if a treatment plan like TENS actually works in practice. However, today, we're gonna do something slightly different. The reason being, the evidence for TENS sucks. Now, does the evidence suck because it says TENS is a really bad intervention? No. The reason it sucks is because the evidence is totally inconclusive. There are around seven to eight major Cochrane reviews on TENS, and a Cochrane review is often thought to be the highest standard of evidence that we have available. Pretty much all of these reviews say exactly the same thing. The quality of evidence is too low, meaning that it's too difficult for us to analyse whether or not TENS is actually effective in practice. Well, that's all well and good, but for us, it's totally not helpful, which is why the evidence sucks. So instead, I thought that why not give you my honest opinion on my feelings on TENS and my experience with it in practice. So, let's dive in. So first of all, TENS stands for Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. So basically, it's a form of electrotherapy and it works by stimulating or perhaps changing the stimulation to a person's nerves. So how does TENS do this? Well, imagine you've got two people in a room and let's call this room the patient. The first person talking is a nerve connected to the pain system and that first person is talking really, really loudly. So the only thing that the patient can hear is messages related to the pain system. Now imagine that the second person in the room is a nerve connected to the sensory nervous system, what we can actually feel on our skin. So TENS tries to provide information to the sensory nervous system by stimulating the nerves and therefore meaning that the sensory nerve person starts talking a lot louder than the pain nerve person, meaning that the brain focuses on the sensation and focuses less on the pain. So this concept is called the pain gate theory and the other major most obvious example of this in practice is when a young child falls over, mother or father tells them to rub their knee better and as a result the child's brain is thinking about the rubbing rather than the pain. Now TENS aims to do this and so the first question to really highlight when it comes to does TENS actually work is can it actually create a sensation that is strong enough for the brain to think about rather than those from the pain system? And the answer is absolutely yes. If you've tried using a TENS machine yourself, you can turn the intensity of the machine up or down, whether it provides a tingling sensation or a pulsing sensation, it really can deliver a different stimulation to those nerves so that you can only really think about the sensation being provided by that TENS machine. So in that case, we have a tick on that front. So with that in mind, the patients who I talk to about TENS the most in my practice are those who present with persistent pain, particularly as they often have a misbalance in the ratio of messages being received from the sensory nervous system and the pain nervous system. And in fact, it's great because these individuals can relatively affordably trial something like a TENS machine for around 20 to 25 pounds in the UK. And if it works for them, brilliant. It really works for them. But one of the key things that I find myself having to do when it comes to TENS is explaining mindset to patients. The mindset that TENS is not there to completely eradicate their pain so that they'll never have pain again, but instead to highlight that TENS aims to reduce the intensity of the messages in the pain system and instead increase the intensity of the messages in the sensory nervous system so that it allows them to use that period of time to move a bit more to try and engage in their hobbies. And it is that that actually helps them to get stronger, get better movement, and hopefully find a longer term solution to their pain levels. So in conclusion, does TENS actually work? 
I have to say, I do like this intervention. It doesn't work for everyone, but I do find that patients can afford a little trial of a TENS machine, perhaps for something like three to four weeks. And if it works for them, if it allows them to feel that difference in the messages going up and down their body, and it means that they are able to do their hobbies and move a little bit more, brilliant. If I find that after three or four weeks they haven't had much change, they haven't been able to use it as a modality to move and do their hobbies a little bit more, it perhaps doesn't tend to be so effective. But it's definitely worth a go, particularly for your patients with persistent pain. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please support us by smashing that like button and subscribe to the channel for all our best updates. Remember, we've got loads of resources on our Instagram account at Clinical Physio and on our website clinicalphysio.com to help any growing physiotherapist. I'm Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.